The following Let's Play has been rated for mature audiences only. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game. When we last left off, I was left with a bit of a conundrum. I have the option of continuing the music quest and doing it without recruiting more fans. But I wasn't sure if that was a wise choice or if I should try to get as many fans as possible. So I asked O'Bright and he says that it would probably be best if I got as many fans as possible right off the bat. So that's what I'm going to do. Actually what I'm going to do is save on a different file and then after I find out what happens if I get as many fans as possible. Then I'll also find out what happens if I did it without getting as many fans as possible. Thinking on it, I probably should have done that in the first place. Hindsight. Didn't really need to ask O'Bright about it. Anyway, the first person I'm going to recruit as a fan is my maid, because I can play music for her and... Now that I know what playing music is all about, I'm gonna play music for her. And it's always going to be that one song, because that's all I know. Oh, wow! You sound fantastic! You sound like you've been playing for years! I'm impressed. I'll definitely be there the next time you play in the music hall. Look for me there! And then if I play music again... Oh, no thank you. I'll be hearing that pretty melody you played earlier in my head in four days. And besides, if you play in the music hall anytime soon, I'll come and hear you play. I'm gonna guess that that's gonna be the next quest that we're gonna be doing for the music quest after I recruit all these fans. Now who else... I was told up to ten fans can be at the music hall. Which makes sense because that's how many people can be on a single map, is 10. How about you? You look like a music lover. You're not. Alright, so here is a different message from get chatting with a person. Well, my my, fate certainly dealt us different cards, didn't it? And then originally, Zoe would uh, say that things aren't really all that different, and then it will continue here. Yeah, you say we grew up in different houses, but you're confusing the word different with the word better. And how could you compare yourself to me anyway when my life is absolutely flawlessly perfect in every way? And now, different conversation. Oh, come now, Marla. Your life isn't any more perfect than anybody else's. If it were, you wouldn't be standing outside your parents' house all day. Every day. Do you keep getting locked out somehow? Pony! 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 You know, it's been like five or eight years since you started looking for that pony. I don't think you're going to find it. I'm kind of curious. Has Maddie's son grown up at all? I mean, years have passed, so... Well, obviously he's not sitting here as a child. Is he up here with his mother? No. Alright, where is that little boy gone? Do you know? Well, I can't really chat with you. Let's find out if any of these do something new. Oh! Hey there! I was hoping you would come by and say hello. Jadis and I just had a look at the statue you made for us, and I must say, it's beautiful. We knew the design was sound from your sketches. Wait, we made sketches? But you wound up taking it a few steps further in the actual final statue. We're so proud of it and so glad that you were the one who created it for us. You honor us for all time. I know that statue is in honor of their grandfather, but still. Why a girl statue? 
I'm going to miss my grandfather terribly, but now I have to focus on keeping the family going, which means looking after the family business also. My sister and I helped out however we could, but I still don't see how he kept up with everything. We are not so young as we once were, though, and the time to take charge had to come some time. The time to take charge had to come some time. Somebody please tell me if that makes sense, because it doesn't make sense to me. It is just a lot to have to get used to in such a short period of time. I know it's a lot of pressure, but I'm sure you'll do fine. I also know how scary big changes can be, but that also that's, but also that those changes can make things better eventually. Thank you very much. I hope that I can fill the big shoes left by my grandfather, and having people around here like you inspires me to do great things. Can I play music for you now? You play remarkably well. You play as if you've been raised from birth to play the harp. I will definitely be there if you play in the music hall. Zoe is like a child prodigy. It would be interesting if I could also play for her for his sister. Oh, I can play for his sister. But let's chat. Hi! I've been looking for you to tell you something. My brother and I just got a word from the Artist Guild that you finished our statue and so we went and had a look at it. It looks fantastic! I can't believe you actually carved that! We are so honored that you were able to do it for us and you have honored our family as well. That honor will last now and so will yours. It's just not going to be the same without Grandfather here. Our family is strong and has endured much hardships. But it's just my brother and me now. I don't know how we'll do it, but we will find a way. And thanks to you, the town has gotten better. You have reminded us all what can be accomplished when you are strong and persevere. Your fighting spirit is contagious. I'm so glad if I could help you, Jadis. I may not be the best fighter in the world, but I sure know how to pers persevere. Horace at Warren Hall used to say I was stubborn. Hehe. <laughs> He was probably right. I like reading hee <laughs> hee. Thank you very much. When we are surrounded by so many fighters, it helps me to fight. We will find a way through these hard times together. It's interesting that we talk about fighting, but she's not the sort of person who joins my party. Let's play another song. Or rather, let's play the same song. Oh! You play beautifully! I will have to keep an eye on the guild performance schedule so that I can come and see you perform. I'm not miss it! Oh, I'll not miss it! <sighs> Sometimes, my reading. So, no typo there, but it would have been funny had it really been I'm not miss it. It's like I'm expecting these typos. So that's five people now. Let's see, Erratus, that girl, that girl, that girl, that guy. Yeah, that's five people. A limit of ten. Does that mean there are a total of ten people that I can play music for? Or do I have to choose which people I want to be my fans carefully? Like, are there more than ten? Or are there exactly ten? Or less. Who knows? I don't know. Man, I miss the old Chester. We used to talk and stuff. And since my best friend decided to... <sighs> okay, you know Chester's brother Seymour, right? Well, his apprentice is that girl from my school named Rose. Remember her? We were best friends back then. Well then, those Wood Elves moved into town, and I hardly ever saw her anymore. I mean, they're cool and everything, but... I'm sorry to hear that. She probably just got carried away because they were so new and exotic. Have you tried talking to her again recently? 
I mean, those guys seem very nice and all, but maybe the newness has worn off a bit for her. Thanks, I hope so. And yeah, she thought they were all cool because they're nocturnal elves, and then there's the whole archer thing. But maybe you're right. Maybe I'll go say hello after work today. Did I actually help with something? Also, archers are awesome. I might have to get one of them into my party at some point. Yeah, I can see how this archer's thing is a big deal. Also, she's an archer. Oh, she's my twin. Huh. How about that? So yeah, she's definitely infatuated with those night elves. Hey! Oh, I've been meaning to tell you how very thankful we all are that you have opened one of our shops again. Those stores are our livelihood, and without them... Well, all I can say is thank you. Well, it's been like five or eight years since I opened that shop. So she's been wanting to thank me for a long time. Ah, oh, here we are. Play music. She still looks like Wonder Woman to me. Wonder if the resemblance is intentional. She's like classic Wonder Woman with the skirt. Ooh, you sound great! For someone who hasn't been playing for long, you sure are good. I'll most definitely have to come and hear you play in the music hall next time. So that's six fans. Try to get four more. This town was once known the world over for the good food here, and it was all to Mr. Tang. I may have been the head cook there, but there were certain of his signature dishes that only he was allowed to prepare. Those dishes were a large part of why the tavern was so successful. Thanks to you, though, this town has gotten much better already. You surely are helping a lot for such a young person. You should be very proud. And I know, you're not so young anymore. You've grown up so much since we first met. Thank you. I do feel good that I could help around here a little, but there are too many things left to do if I want to really make a difference in town. Well, worry not. You've already done more than most people here to help, at any age. You're still so young. You've got plenty of time to make a difference. It's kind of nice that we're finally seeing some different conversations from these people. Sometime, I might have to try out being a thief just to see if I can unlock chests like this one. Unless that sort of chest is something I have to have permission to open. People have always come to this place in times of trouble. They find it abandoned, repopulated, and then move on when it gets too small. It's a cycle that's been going on for centuries. It's strange that I lived through the beginning of this cycle, but I remember the time before Mercer's March when this place was long forgotten. But now look at this town. We've been going through some hard times recently, but with all the shop closings and people moving away, but you've helped so much around here. You should be very proud. Thank you. It does feel good to be able to make a difference for the better. And even though I know my job is not done, I know now, I now know I'm stuff that I can do it. You know, years ago, Bergen told me that I could do anything, and be anything that I wanted. I've carried that with me ever since. Well, regardless of your motivations, the fact remains that you've worked tirelessly to get this town back on its feet again, and for that, we all thank you. You can tell that certain pieces of conversation are stitched with the new pieces of conversation. And while it is kind of noticeable, it's nice that... It's a nice way to get more memory out of, or more use out of the limited memory that RPG Maker 3 provides. Well, well, to what do I owe this great honor of your visit? 
Hee <laughs> hee, you're making quite a name for yourself. Everyone in town is talking about how much you've improved the town and how talented you are. That's it, huh? Alright. We don't need a full conversation from everybody. It's almost getting dark. I'm gonna have to finish talking to all the day people while I have the chance. Let's see... This current town that you see started out as a lawless war zone, etc, etc. Believe it or not, the only things that reigned here... 400 years old, jail, earliest known times. If this building could talk... Well, things may not be perfect here. There is still a crime problem, for one. But I don't think anybody could say that things haven't improved since there was a martial law in this town. And it was even worse before that. We should consider ourselves lucky, but not sit by and let things get horrible again. We have to remain vigilant. Yes, I agree. Thank you for putting things into perspective for me. Sometimes it's hard to keep in mind that things aren't as bad as they could be. But we also must remember that things could be much better. I am encouraged by my successes, but I can't stand on my laurels. None of us can. My, you have matured, haven't you? I wish I could make, take some credit for helping you achieve this dedicated attitude, but I think you have yourself mostly to thank. Your life has not been easy, has it? Well, you're all the more virtuous for it. You fill me with hope and pride. You cannot say that I am not thorough in my let's plays. I will talk to everybody if I think that I can get new conversations. Alright, that's at least one more person to talk to that I'm able to talk to at this point. I should have no trouble getting to him in time. They say this place has a crime problem. Does that mean there's actually people in these cells now? Eh, I can't play music with him. Keep down the center line and don't get too close to the bo bars. Oh, it's you. Come to ask me more stupid questions, I suppose. And I suppose next you're going to ask why a dark personage such as myself would want to work during the day, right? I already asked that, actually. But I ask you, do you see any sunlight? Because I don't. Well, why don't you take your helmet off then, silly? What? I can't hear a thing with this helmet on. Oh well, it was probably just another full question anyway. I'm gonna check if anybody's in these bars. That's the last person, so anybody else that I would try to bring on as a fan is probably gonna be somebody who is only around at night. And so the night shift begins. And I can jo uh, play music for this person. Surprise, this person doesn't have a chat option. Guess he's not the sort for idle conversation. Whoa! How long did you say you've been playing? You sound great! Wow, that's pretty cool. The next time you play at the music hall, I'll be sure to come and hear you. And that's another fan. Yay! Play again? That's okay, I'll come hear you when you play next time at the music hall. They keep talking about a music hall, but I haven't seen a music hall. Do they mean the Musicians Guild? Or is there going to be like a special room I go to whenever I start playing for an audience? What about you, Brogan? Do you have good taste in music? Yes, you do. He also doesn't, uh care for idle conversation. I can tell that once I get that food quest going, I'm actually going to be serving food to everybody in town. It is raining through the tent. That tent is not a good tent. 
Well, that's right, pretty. You play dirt pretty good. You gonna play at the music hall? Well, if you do, I'll surely be there. Play again. That's okay, I'll just come in here and you play next time. Alright. I lost track of how many people that is. But there's only so many people in town and I think there's only two people left to check. Maybe three. There was that kid I talked about who is missing. Who had to have grown up by now. Is he a night dweller? Curious. Alright, at least one of these people in here are going to be uh, one to have music. Also, probably a new conversation. Hey! There's the Master Stone Carver. Come to pay us a visit. Haha, <laughs> I just saw your latest masterwork to the west of Moyos. What can I say, other than I think that it looks utterly fantastic? Elven Masters may have accomplished great things, but we are immortal. For you- Oh wow, really? That's interesting. I wonder what it would be like to have would be like to be immortal. Also, if you're immortal, does that mean you can't have children? Because if you're immortal, that would mean overpopulation would be pretty dang easy. For you to achieve such a high sensibility at such a young age is incredible. You are a young prodigy. Gonna think of it. If you're immortal, how old are you? All right, you probably want music. Yep, but let's chat. You've heard of the band called Shavak, right? They were pretty popular here for a long time, and even I was a fan for a while. Well, they decided that Moyos was just too small for them, and so they moved away to Karn. They used to be uh, such a... They used to be such a Gret band. But from what I've heard, they have totally changed since moving away, and even changed their name to Darvak. Don't tell anyone I told you this, but... Althea used to be married to the harpist from that band. When he left, he left her too. It's sad. Althea. I know I met Althea. Was it that person who looks like a blue queen? Who's gonna be the start of the romantic quest? That would really explain why she's blue. Hey, I can see inside this person's head. Creepy. That's terrible! Poor Althea, she never seemed to have gotten over it. People say she used to be different before, but now she hardly ever leaves her house. I think she just needs to meet the right person to bring her back. I'll bet it will happen soon. Yes, yeah, she was a totally different person then. She was outgoing and positive, and was such a good friend of mine. After Claus left her, she never left the house again. He was everything to her, and her life with him was exactly what she wanted, until the day he left. I hope you are right. I hope that someone can bring back the old Althea again. Maybe you? Who knows, maybe me. Maybe one of the quests I do for her is to get her a boyfriend. Or a girlfriend. Kinda curious. By curious. Hey, that sounded great! You sound like you've been practicing since you were born. How amazing! I will definitely come and hear you play live if you decide to grace the music hall. Alright. How many people is that? It would not be honorable to allow you to play again for free. I will come and hear you play and pay you in full for the privilege of hearing you play. Yeah, that's one reason that Obright said that I should get as many fans now as I can. Because the more fans I have, the bigger reward I get whenever I play. So let me think here. How many people do I have as a fan? I have Aratus. I have the guild leader. I have the maid. I have that night elf. 
I have Brogan. I have that one guard. I lost track. That's unfortunate. This person is the person that I was supposed to find those legendary books for. Can't play for him, but apparently he can join my party. I'll have to try him out at some point. We never found that third book for him. Wonder where it is. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I probably talk to everybody who can be a fan. I'm not sure who all I talk to, I probably could just take the time to actually go through everybody again and count them off, but I talk to everybody in town that I can find, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that I've talked to everybody that I can, played music for everybody that I can, and we're going to go ahead and finish off this quest. Right on! You have at least one reservation to come to hear you play. That's great! Are you finished recruiting fans for now? Yeah. Next, you'll need some sheet music. Have you talked to Aratus over the Academy yet? Well, if not, then you should. He told me that he'd, be, he'd managed to copy one of the old music scrolls. I wanted to talk to you about it first, but now you should talk to him. Also, that's the next part of your guild initiation. You must come back here with a music scroll to continue any further. Well, alright. I could stop here and do the next part of this quest next time, but I really want to find out if I've actually recruited 10 people. So do I talk to this girl or do I talk to him? I guess talk to him. Alright, I guess I look at the scroll. What would you do? Ask Aratus about it. That's just a replica that I copied for an original that I found recently, which is almost 3,000 years old. It's a music scroll, and it shows the kind of music people that lived right here used to listen to way back then. I would absolutely love to be able to hear it one day. You tell Aratus about your visit to the Musician's Guild. Really? Hmm. Well, I tell you what, you can keep that scroll, I can make another copy. I will look forward to hearing you play it. If it goes well, I'm almost positive that we can find more around here if we look hard enough. Oh, and I found this scroll in a red chest that was locked. If you find another locked chest, try using this key on it. Yay! You have received Ancient Scroll 1 and a, tech and a scroll key. So all those red chests that we find are probably different scrolls for, uh, for, uh, for scrolls of music. Yeah. You already have a copy of this scroll. Alright. So does that mean that I can go ahead and, uh, open more red, tre uh, open red treasure chests and find more scrolls and stuff? Because I really want to open those scrolls. Open those red treasure chests, that is. I already know where some of them are. Huh. Now what do I do? I suppose I can go back to the music hall and... Find out what my next uh, quest is. But at the same time, I am also curious about finding these extra scrolls. Got quite a choice here. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go ahead and not save just in case I look through and realize that I missed somebody to recruit as a fan. Next time, I'm going to do something. I don't really know what it is. Will I continue and play this scroll for an audience or will I go hunt for more scrolls? We'll find out next time. I'll see you then.